Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch artist, and in this video I'm going to do a tutorial on how to rotoscope in ToonSquid. What I'm first going to do is make a new canvas by pressing on the plus sign. I'll have it 1920 by 1080 pixels at 24 frames per second. Then press on create. Now you can work on your animation, but first I need to import the video. I've made a video with my iPhone, then go to library, and here you can upload your video. Just press on the plus, and I have it in my photos. So here's the clip. It's now imported. And I just want a little clip of it. So what you can do, you can also cut your videos or your animations by pressing on the video. And then you can split your drawing. But I first need to find from where I want to cut the video. It just needs two seconds. I wanna cut it here. So press on the video, then go to split drawing. And now when you press it again, you can delete it. So now you have your video that you want. I'm gonna drag this layer on top of the other layer. Because here's where I'm going to do the animation. But I need the video to be uh, at a lower transparency. So what you can do is select the video Then go to the properties and here you can lower the opacity. So now I can start my drawing. I'm gonna select a sketch pencil and I'm just gonna use pure black because here you can find the colors you want to draw with. I just made a mistake and I drew everything on the video layer so I have to redo everything. And that's a good lesson that you, it's better to lock the layer. And you can do that by going to the layers panel and then lock it. So in that way you cannot accidentally, you know, draw on the video layer. So now I'm on the right layer and I'm just going to trace the brush. And this brush is not going to move around for a few frames. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the drawing by just dragging the drawing. And I'm just going to check when my hand will come in. And it will overlap the brush. So here I can make a new drawing. I'm just gonna press on add drawing. So this is going to be a new drawing. I'm gonna select a new layer for the animation of the hand. So it's going to be on a separate layer. I'm gonna lock this layer just to be sure. 
And now I'm going to draw the hand. You see, I'm on the wrong layer. Add a new drawing. And this is going to take a while, so I'm going to do trace all the drawings. So I'm going to do a time lapse for drawing all of these frames. So I finished the animation and you can loop it and also turn off the, uh, the video and you can also export it. You have to go to actions, export and then just export it as an mp4, a gif, an image or image sequence. And I'm going to export it and I'm going to save it in my photos library. So it's very interesting, you know, to study. Because when you're doing rotoscoping, you can really see what's happening. Because here, I'm just going to start at the beginning. I grab the brush and then twist it around. And you can learn a lot by just studying videos while you're doing the uh, rotoscoping. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.